Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Communism's history is a history of death and destruction, of poverty, of misery. And I know for your generation, you have to tell people sometimes, you know, the Berlin Wall was built not to prevent Westerners from escaping to communism, but because communists wanted to run away from Eastern Europe to the West and needed to be shot in order to stop them from doing that. Eastern Europe would have been emptied out if not for the Berlin Wall and the fences and walls that went out all over the border between East and Western Germany. Communism, as practiced everywhere, has led to nothing but blood, suffering, poverty. Soviet Union, in China, in some ways even worse, in Cambodia, when in the killing fields of Cambodia, 40% of the population was murdered in the name of equality, in the name of socialism, in the name of making us all the same, in the name of eradicating private property, eradicating differences, eradicating so-called classes. The history of socialism and communism is the history of bloodshed, murder, and destruction. And knowing these facts, it is stunning that we still have socialists around. Now, that is one variation, you would say. But every variation of socialism has resulted in a similar outcome. Maybe not as much blood, but certainly poverty. Right now, we're living through an experiment in South America of socialism. There's a country in South America that used to be the richest country in Latin America. On a per capita basis, by far, the richest country in Latin America. It was a country, it is a country, that has more oil reserves than Saudi Arabia. It should be a rich country. It was a rich country. And yet, because of socialist policies over the last 20 years, it has become, today, the poorest country in Latin America. Babies are starving, dying of starvation. There are no pets in Caracas, no cats and dogs anywhere in Caracas, because they've eaten them all. The zoos were emptied, and the animals they eaten. Middle-class kids like you are dumpster diving to find food. This is a country that has more oil reserves than Saudi Arabia. This is a country that has some of the most fertile land in Latin America. And yet, that land was collectivized 20 years ago, turned into collective farms, and is producing nothing today. And people are starving.